Okay, hello and welcome to Boden in, in Swedish Lapland. The weather is bad, it's uh, really bad. It has been cloudy for, for the last two weeks most of the time. A couple of days ago, however, it was a beautiful autumn day and uh, I went out uh, to see if I could find some new uh, observation spots in a Bortel 2 area. So I drove north, followed the Rhone River Valley to see if I could find some spots, uh, great spots to put up my gear. Um, but uh, unfortunately it never went really clear and, and there were some clouds also coming in during the, the evening. So um, I just had to head home again. Um, but this week I have received some gear that I have ordered. So this is uh, a filter wheel. So yes, now I will go mono and I feel pretty excited to, to start to shoot L, RGB and uh, narrow band. Uh, I think I am ready to take this step in my development as an astrophotographer. So this is uh, the CWO uh, EFW electronic filter wheel, the new version. It can hold seven 36 millimeters filters. And this is a camera that I bought from a friend a couple of weeks ago. It's the CWO 1600mm Pro, the mono version. So when I started to do astrophotography about two years ago, I started with, with the Canon EOS DSLR. But pretty fast I felt uh, its uh, limitations and uh, last autumn I ordered this one, the CWO 2600MC Pro, the one shot uh, color camera. Um, it's a tremendous camera and it was a huge step forward compared to the EOS. And um, I think I will keep it, um, sometimes it could be nice to have uh, to be able to collect RGB data directly, but uh, the future will t tell how much I will use this. Maybe I uh, get really hooked up on, on mono shooting, so. But soon I will, will do a one year review of, of this 2600 MC Pro camera. I really like it, it's, it's great. Um, here we have my, my tube that I have used for the last two years, the Skywatcher EvoStar 80ED. I think it's uh, very good, um, especially when you take uh, the price in consideration. But um, I have also ordered a new tube um, and that will be very exciting. So I have uh, ordered uh, the Skywatcher 190 Maxut of Newton 190 millimeters uh, aperture and it's a pretty large tube with a focal length of uh, 1000 millimeter so it will be almost a double of what I get with this one with a reducer and, and the size of, uh, of the camera sensor it's a roughly equivalent to 523 millimeter so it will be pretty interesting to try 1000 millimeter and uh, the Maxut of Newton design is uh, interesting it's uh, coma corrected and uh, there's no need uh, to use uh, a flattener and uh, compared to a Newton it uh, will also yield a sharper and more contrasted image um, and I hope um, it will be as good for astrophotography as I suspect it will. And uh, with that one I will uh, be able to shoot some smaller objects uh, such as uh, M51 galaxy sized objects it will be great I think. Um, it's pretty weighty but um, from all I have read it's, uh, it will be no problem with my EQ6 or Pro mount. That was a small update. I will now 
try to connect everything and see that it uh, works as it should with my new filter wheel and the mono camera to see if I can get some decent sharpness with this tube and then I just have to wait for some clear sky but I, according to the forecast I think it will not be this week well don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow my my arctic astrophotography adventures see you soon